for the cab. Are you alright, man? Yeah, thank you. Well, alrighty. I've just, in the last video, done a very, very short um, explanation of my of my wedding day in in Thailand, which was which was last week. Um, and so, for my second story, story time, catching you up over the last year, was the Chiang Mai floods. Wow. So, I had been planning. My 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 wife and I had been planning our wedding um, for almost a year and a half. We were really, really, really on track. We had about a month, three weeks before before the wedding, everything was done and you know we were possibly gonna go down to Hua Hin. I was gonna do some kayaking in the sea and uh, just 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 relax for a little bit. But then the the floods came. Terrible, terrible, terrible flooding all through northern northern Thailand. It hit some of the other provinces earlier, like Nan, um, May Sai were really really bad further up north and I, I did think we were gonna escape it. And then, you know, the emergency warning started coming and uh, we were told flooding was going to come. I, or and I seem to be the only people in Amu Ban who really took this flood seriously. We had sandbags out, we had um, tarpaulined our, our, um, our gate, we made water bags for internal rooms and the flood came and it didn't come into the house. It flooded our garden, but it didn't come into the house and just staying up and watching it and being visual, it was absolutely exhausting. And then we managed to clean that up. Okay, no problem. We've still got a bit of time before our, before our wedding. Um, and then the second flood came and this flood was much, much, much worse. Well, for the second week in a row, my house is completely, completely flooded. This time is quite a lot worse. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't come as high as this this time, but yeah, it's pretty much up to my knees in here. This is the only room in the house that hasn't flooded yet. My last line of water balloon uh, defences. Very, very effective, as you can see. We've got dry in here, uh, wet out there. Um, I broke the washing machine last week. Well, I didn't. The flood water did last week. I've just bought this. I've just had to replace it, and I might have to replace it again. I don't know. It's... But pretty much every room in in on the ground floor was hit. Uh, we tried to lift as much stuff as we could up upstairs, but. But yeah, um, my, 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 my girlfriend at the time, my wife now, um, she was back home with her parents, so it was really just me having to deal with this situation. Well, yeah, the, the water keeps, keeps rising, and uh, my, uh, my machines are in trouble. And I, I couldn't lift the chest freezer or the fridge or a big washing machine upstairs. It was just too heavy. So I was just sitting in the lounge watching all of these machines just like slowly well, the water line rising, water, just thinking, I need to get out of here, I need to get a hotel. Um, but I couldn't bear just to leave all the stuff to just rot. And in that moment, it was absolutely amazing, uh, a friend of mine, Justin, who is a very good friend of mine, um, who I'm going to tell you in the next story about when we nearly died kayaking, uh, gave me a call and said, do you, um, do you need any help? Is there anything I can do? And uh, it's like my guardian angel. Friends, who's going to help me bring them upstairs? And then I think I just need to get out of here. It's 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 an unlivable it's an unlivable situation really. I can't open the fridge. <sighs> the entire ground floor is is just covered in a foot of water. It's even deeper back there. So yeah, um, I told him yes, I do need some help, but the only way he'd be able to get to my village would literally be on on a boat. So. He drove to the edge of the waterline near our village, got his kayak out and kayaked to my house. And the cavalry's arrived. How was that? That was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> Boy, there you go. Yeah. Paddled straight through your kitchen. And then uh, helped me lift all of my machines upstairs and basically saved them. And they're all working now, they're absolutely fine. They were a bit short-circuity for a while, 
but that, that seems to have resolved itself. But with a, an enormous amount of effort, we managed to get the fridge, washing machine, and this like half full chest freezer up. If it comes up anymore, then well, we do our best. Uh, and then yeah, so I'm I'm going to um, evacuate. Going to get on the kayaks and. That's it. Poor Katie's on her own. Yeah, cats upstairs. Windows open, and uh, she's got food and water. She's got enough for how how many days? I'll probably I'm going to come back anyway. Come back. Oh yes, and so it was a great opportunity to, well, one thing, one, okay, there was one good thing that came from the flooding. I was able to kayak around my little Mubad village area, which was amazing, it was really, really good fun. Actually, and actually, I'd fantasized about it. When I got my kayak the first time, I was thinking, hmm, this city's gonna flood one of these years, and I'm gonna be able to get out, and I'll be famous by saving everybody, saving cats and dogs. I'll be the Farang kayak saver. Um, obviously just, you know, as, as silly, stupid fantasies that I, I play in my head sometimes. Um, but yeah, no, it, it basically happened. The flood did come and I did get on my boat. And while I wasn't expecting to actually save anybody, I, I wanted to go to 7-Eleven on my boat, uh, which was an impossible task because I was forced to save people. As soon as they saw uh, me on a boat paddling past, people were just screaming, Shoe doe! Which is time for help. And they'd be like, Farang, Farang, can you help us? And uh, yeah, I never got to 7-Eleven. I was just basically sent on loads of side quests to either save people trapped in buildings and take them to dry land, or take people from the shops back to their house. There was this one woman who um, I put in the boat and her friend who could speak English said to me, can you bring her back to the house? I was like, of course, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll take, you, take you home. Where is it? And she's like, by noon. You want to go ahead? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome. No problem. Oh. Yeah, sure. But uh, you know where? Oh, uh, sorry, Tapa. Oh, she got to tell you. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. To do a rescue mission. I know. Okay. Can you go down? Can you? It's okay. I'll push. Oh, I'll push. Wow. I'll push. Just over there. Okay. That's fine. I'll, I'll take it from him. Well, I mean, it was over there, but it, you know, there, there was doing a, a lot of work really because it was miles away, and every step was getting a little bit deeper. And by the time I got back to her house, I was completely swimming. What a cab! So unfortunately, my camera got a bit too hot and it turned off. But I just had to rescue this woman. And her house is like, well, up to my neck of water. She was in the kayak. And I basically had to swim. Okay, my cap. Very deep. It's like up to here. Crazy. But yeah, Pete, she's okay. In her house now. Cap, very, very welcome, cap. Okay, cap. You too, cap. Put a cap. You around, man? And um, the woman didn't 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 really help me at all. Um, I was basically swimming, pushing the kayak with her in it, and then swimming to the kayak, steering it towards the right direction, giving it a big push again, and then swimming in this pool water and, and repeating that maybe for like a kilometer. It was like, absolutely exhausting. Um, and I, I told this woman, I said, you know, like I, I can't. Well, I can't walk now. It's 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 too it's too steep. Uh, I'm, I'm swimming. And she looks at me and says, "You like swimming? I like to swim." And uh, yeah, I had to say, "I'm well, no, no, I, I, I am, I am swimming." And uh, she didn't really seem to understand that. Um, she just kept on saying, "We're going the wrong way." But I mean, I've got no way to steer her. So um, yeah, a little, a little ungrateful. But um, yeah, I, I rescued her and I rescued a few other people and miraculously didn't manage to get like, you know, typhoid poisoning or some kind of disease from all that water. And then yeah, that was about two, two, two weeks of our lives taken up with flood defences actually, you know, trying to stop the water getting into the house and then, and then cleaning it up, um, you know, and then, then we all just had the pressure that we knew on the 20th, 21st of September, October, sorry, 
I'd need, uh, you know, got 30, 30 family members coming that are going to need to be picked up and shown a nice time. So, yeah, that that was tough, man. That, hopefully, no more floods for another 10 or 20 years. And uh, I'm definitely going to buy some petrol water pumps too. They're vital.